everyone, and welcome back to another video of SpaceX Updates. In this video, we'll be discussing the latest news about the Starship program, including the FAA's 63 corrective actions, updates from Starbase, and the company's latest Starlink launch. Elon Musk has said that he hasn't yet seen the 63 corrective actions that the FAA has listed for SpaceX to implement before applying a modification to the launch license. The FAA has not released the specific 63 corrective actions that SpaceX must take to prevent the recurrence of the Starship mishap. Musk is known for his sarcastic tweets. He often uses humor to make a point or to express his frustration. On a lighter note, Elon Musk believes that the FAA is usually fair and does not intentionally cause delays in SpaceX's launches. However, he also believes that SpaceX is ultimately responsible for the delays in the Starship program. SpaceX submitted the final mishap investigation report on August 16 and the case was closed on September 8. The FAA is the federal agency responsible for regulating civil aviation in the United States. As part of this responsibility, the FAA must review and approve all launch licenses for rockets that will be launched from U.S. soil. The FAA's review process can sometimes be lengthy and complex, which can lead to delays in launches. In the case of the Starship program, the FAA's review process has been particularly lengthy. This is due in part to the complexity of the Starship rocket and the potential risks associated with its launch. The FAA has also been criticized for being too slow and bureaucratic in its review process. Elon Musk said in a tweet that SpaceX has made thousands of upgrades to the Starship and the Launchpad slash Mechazilla. These upgrades are designed to address the issues that led to the April 20 mishap and to make the Starship safer and more reliable. Some of the upgrades that SpaceX has made include Reinforcement of the Launchpad Foundation Installation of steel plates flame deflector water deluge system. Modifying the autonomous flight safety system to prevent unexpected delays in issuing a destruct command. Making changes to the rocket's design to prevent leaks and fires. Conducting additional testing of the rocket before launch. The upgrades that SpaceX has made are significant and will help to make the Starship safer and more reliable. However, it is not clear when the Starship will be able to resume flights. SpaceX will need to complete all of the corrective actions that the FAA has requested before the company will be granted a new launch license. It is also worth noting that the Starship is a very complex rocket and there is always the risk of problems. SpaceX has a good track record of safety, but even the best companies can make mistakes. At the Starbase launch complex, we don't see much work on the rocket, which is a good sign. New manifold pipes are being added to the methane subcoolers in the orbital tank farm to maximize performance and significantly reduce prop loading time. Crews are also working to reposition and make changes to the third water tank of the deluge system. A little while ago, SpaceX launched its 63rd successful mission of the year. Starlink Group 6-14, with 22 Starlink satellites, was launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from SLC-40 in Florida. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. The first Stage Falcon 9 booster supporting this mission, B-1076, was on its seventh flight. Stage 1 landing confirmed. On Thursday evening, SpaceX also rolled out the first segment of the crew access tower for Pad 40. SpaceX and NASA are working to upgrade SLC-40 at Cape to start hosting cargo and crew missions to the International Space Station. This decision was revealed in September last year with SpaceX's ongoing work to construct a second Starship launch pad at Launch Complex 39A inside Kennedy Space Center. Upgrading SLC-40 will provide redundancy. If there is a problem with Launch Complex 39A, SpaceX can still launch crewed missions from SLC-40. This will ensure that SpaceX can continue to meet its launch commitments to NASA and other customers. So far, SpaceX has launched 11 human spaceflight missions with 100% success rate. And at present, it is the only company in the United States capable of launching humans to space. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.